It was just another day at work. For Ran Bahadur Guru. His was a workplace written with bodies and blood. But he has seen tougher days. Days where he was confronted with more brutal enemies and more hostile terrain. Ran Bahadur Gurum was a Gorkha. That day of July 2013 was his last. Ran Bahadur Gurun sacrificed his life in the honorable tradition of his proud race. In a faraway land of Kupwara district in Kashmir, the Indian army performed his cremation. What was handed over of him to his loved ones waiting back home in Nepal was not his body but a compact disc with the recording of his last rites. While Indian Army takes utmost pains to bring back bodies of fallen soldiers of Indian origin, Gorkhas are not considered privileged enough. Laying lives for a country they had been looking up to, Gorkhas are now rethinking their allegiances to India which recognizes their achievements and contributions in nothing but a well-crafted lip service. Hindustan ne wo koi ladai jeeti nahi hai jis jeet ke saath kisi Nepali ka rakt na baha kisi Nepali ne shahadat na mohi Bharat ke swabiman ke liye Bharat ke raksha ke liye Nepal ka bahadur मरने मटने के लिए कभी पीछे नहीं रहा। Despite employing Gorkha battalions on the front lines of toughest terrains to fight India's neighbors, Indian Army provides no opportunity for Gorkha soldiers to make it to the officer cadre. Gorkha soldiers in the PBOR cadre are also employed only in general duty roles and not considered worthy of technical and specialized roles due to a severe trust deficit. Those 21 non-Gorkha soldiers of Indian Army who fell with Ran Bahadur Gurum also belong to the Bihar Regiment and the loved ones received their bodies. Back at home of Ran Bahadur Gurum, however, it was a disappointing day. Little did his family know that they were caught in implementation of the ideology of an ancient charlatan, Chanakya. Chanakya's teachings advocate dangers of neighboring countries becoming influential over India. For this very purpose, India deliberately has to belittle her neighbors in order to be the top dog in the realm of regional influence. But this is not the case of Gorkha soldiers only. It's a case of the fate of Nepal. While a large part of Nepal is under occupation from India, Voices are now gaining momentum, which call for breaking the shackles of Indian hegemony in Nepal. Murdaba, 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 Murda
लेकिन हम लोग कहते नहीं हमारा ये नेपाल है मरेंगे या मिटेंगे लेकिन सूसा नेपाल रहा है तो नेपाल रहेगा नॉट ओनली इंडिया इज इंस्टीट्यूशनलाइजिंग इट्स इंटरफेरेंस इन नेपाल्स इंटरनल अफेयर्स बट इट इज बाइटिंग ऑफ मोर देन इट कैन सॉल्व The new generation of Nepal has now realized that in order to retain their true identity they have to rise again as Nepalese